Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video comparing the Kirkland brand AAA batteries against the Duracell batteries. So I thought I'd take it a step further and compare them to the Duracell Quantum batteries. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys that I have two new packets. That way you know that I'm taking out some brand new batteries out of each packet. And then I'm going to test each battery with a voltometer to show you that they are actually showing the 1.5 volts per battery before, you, before we start. I'm going to go ahead and take each battery and I'm going to put it in my little Olight i3 that I've shown you guys several times. I'm going to turn this on high, which is the only... Uh, mode that it turns on is just one mode high 90 lumens and I'm going to let it run until the entire battery runs out I'm guessing that it's going to be about between five hours and six six and a half hours The first one we're going to take out of the pack is going to be the Duracell Quantum and we're just going to take one out and there it is now this is my voltometer and I've got it set to volts and hopefully you guys will be able to see this once I do it, but it's got a hold button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it, put it on hold, and then show you guys. First, I wanted to show you what a battery that's drained looks like as far as volts. Now, these batteries are rated to be 1.5 volts. This is just a... Actually, these are pretty decent batteries that I got a long time ago. I forgot where I got them, but they're HD supply. Pretty good batteries, actually, to tell you the truth. There you go. See that? 1.5 volts. Now all of these other AAA batteries, the Duracell and the Kirkland, are also rated for 1.5 volts. And like I said, this one's been drained, so it shouldn't be at 1.5 volts. So we're going to go ahead and put our negative to our negative. I said hold. Okay. As you can see, that's showing one volt, right? So that battery is pretty much drained. Now let's try, let's take it off hold. Now let's do the Duracell. Okay. And you can see that says 1.5. Right, so we know that this battery is good out of the pack. Now let's do the same thing with the Kirkland one. Let's see, let's see if we can tear it up here right there. Yep. A positive. Put it on hold. Yeah, and as you can see, this one is also showing 1.5. So both of those batteries are pretty well charged. Now, I was told by a few people in the comments that these Kirkland batteries are made by Duracell and that they're as good as Duracell's. Now, I'm not sure if there's going to be a big difference as far as the time that they last being that these are Duracell Quantums and they're supposed to last longer than the regular Duracells but we'll go ahead and check it out and see how these are all right ladies and gentlemen we are in my pantry and it's kind of a mess right now because I'm reorganizing some things making room for my protein shelf here let me show you real quick we got a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds remember if you guys have been with me for a while before winter started, I said that my goal this winter was to be able to fill this entire shelf with protein. And these shelves go back, I believe, what is it, two feet? Yeah, they go back two feet. And they're almost full. This is all that chicken you guys saw me get on my mid-payday prep because they were on sale at Costco's. And then there's the turkey broth and the turkey that you guys saw me do the canning with. And then up there I got some beans that I usually fill in my blanks whenever I'm canning meat. If I have an extra space available, I just fill it up with beans, and I learned that from you guys. And then here's all of the Spam 
I got some chili and then that's all so all of this is two feet deep and it's gonna be about a four foot about a good four no about six feet so you got six feet by four feet deep by about a foot and a half high so let's get back to our <laughs> flashlights I'm getting carried away over here so all right so we've got our flashlight here and it's got a battery in it already but I'm gonna take that battery out and it's actually one of those batteries I told you guys about that I got a long time ago and pretty good little batteries I usually go through one every winter in my little i3 so we're gonna start off with the Kirkland okay and see how long that one's gonna last us put it in there we're gonna say that my watch here is 518 and we're gonna start this light I'm not gonna to touch it until it is done all right so there you go you guys are gonna to have to trust that I am not messing with this and that the battery that I just put in there is the battery that is going to stay in there the entire time of this test. So what I'll do is hopefully this will turn off before I go to bed. <laughs> so I'm going to come back here and check it probably every hour and a half or two hours. And every time I check it, I'll come back and I'll show you guys my watch and show you that it's still on until it completely turns off. All right. So we'll see you then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it's been just shy of two hours, actually two hours time now. Here's my watch. See that? 7.58. And we started this at 5.58. I'm going to turn off the overhead light so that you can see how it's looking. It's actually getting pretty dim compared to when I first started. It's only been two hours. See that? Now, if you compare that to when it was first turned on, you'll see that it's pretty dim compared to when it was first turned on, which is expected, really. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and keep monitoring this and bring you guys back right around when it's, you know, almost done so we can get a good time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is completely off. Let me turn off the light so you can see it, but let me show you my watch. It turned off just as I was looking at it, and it's 9.54. So it lasted just shy of four hours. So this lasted three hours and 56 minutes, All right? And literally, as I'm walking up to it, I saw the light getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until it finally just went out right before I got my camera on it. So 356, which is pretty good for that battery. Let's see, for, for this Kirkland battery, three hours and 56 minutes. That's actually not bad. I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one on. It's 10 o'clock. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. It's 9.55, 9.56 now. I'm going to put this battery in my flashlight. And I'm going to be up around 3.30. I think this will last at least five and a half hours. Supposed to be so much better, but we'll find out. And I'll let you guys know when I get up in the morning if it did last, if it's still on. I'll show you guys. And if it's not, I'll let you know also. And then I'll just restart it again when I get home from work tomorrow to see how long this one will last. So I'm going to turn this one on now. And there it is. I'm going to turn this one on now, and I'm going to show you guys my watch. And you'll be able to see the date, too. So, like, let me let me polish this off a little bit. So, here's my watch. See, it says Monday, 9.56. So, we'll start it at 9.57. So, Monday, 2-3, 9.56. In 10 seconds, it'll be 9.57. We're going to turn this on. Okay. Almost there. Okay. And there you go. 
I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to go to bed and see if this is still on when I wake up in about five and a half hours or so. All right, so it is now 3.33, and this thing is getting really dim. So I'm going to come back in about 10 minutes or so and see what it's looking like. I don't think it's got 10 minutes left, so we'll see what it looks like then. And that's it. It is out. Let me go ahead and turn on the light. I'll show you guys my watch. See that? 346. So it lasted until 346. Okay, so let's go back to the kitchen. And let's do a little math. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So here's the flashlight. I forgot to take the battery out. Just so you can see that it was the same battery. There's the Duracell Quantum, I believe it's called. Yep. And let's put this back to there. So now let's do some numbers. So as you all know, I paid, let me see, make sure you guys can see this here. I paid $9.97. So we're going to call it $10 for the 64 Kirkland batteries, which comes out to about 15.6 cents each the Kirkland batteries cost me about 15.6 cents each now I started the Kirkland batteries at 558 p.m. and they ran until 954 p.m. which equals a total of three hours and 56 minutes for a total of 100, 236 minutes. There you go. All right, so now these quantum batteries that I purchased, purchased a couple years back, and I remember they were $18 minus three dollars so they were 18 bucks and when I say 18 is like they're like 1798 or 97 or something like that right but they were 18 dollars then we divide that by oh I'm sorry they were 18 dollars minus three dollars so they were 15 dollars they were 15 bucks And then you divide that by 24, that comes to a pack, and that equals 62.5 cents each. All right, and these were the quantums, all right, the Qs, the quantum Duracells. Now, we started that at, at 9.57 p.m. And it just turned off at 3.46 a.m. Which equals 5 hours and 49 minutes. Which is a total of 349 minutes. If we take 15... Point six cents and divide it by 236 that's how much it cost us to run this battery every every minute and then if we take this is the Kirkland and this is going to be the Duracell and if we take 62.5 cents and divide it by 349 minutes that's what it's going to cost us to run the Duracell every minute. Let me get a calculator, figure this out, and I'm going to come back to you guys and tell you 
which one is the cheapest one to run. I'm thinking already that it's going to be for sure the Kirkland is going to be the better brand. And as you can see here, it cost us 0 0.06 cents. So less than one tenth of one penny per minute to run the Kirkland batteries. And it cost us three times as much per minute to run the Duracell Quantum battery. So the Duracell lasts roughly one and a half times as long as the Kirkland, but it costs three times as much to run it. So that's definitely not good math on the part of the Duracell, but very good math on the part of the Kirkland. Only thing is, is that you're gonna to have to change your batteries a little more often, but you're gonna get a lot more battery time for your money than you would with the Duracell. There's one last thing that I wanna cover real quick just for those of you that may be curious now you do have to take into consideration that this Duracell Quantum the best buy date let me see if it will give you a the best buy is 2025 okay and the Kirkland the best buy is 2028 so these Kirklands are a little fresher than the Duracells. However, they're still both well bit within their best buy date. All right. Obviously, these guys are about eight years before they're the end of their best buy date. And these guys are just right in the middle. They're about five years before. These are both well within their best buy date. And they should have most of, if not all of their charge. All right. Considering that they're pretty good batteries, especially these ones. All right, so I would say that the winner in this case is definitely the Kirkland batteries, and these are the ones that I'm going to buy from now on whenever they're on sale. 0 0.06 cents, 0 0.18 cents. So, you know, it's a big difference. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, definitely, after doing this, definitely recommend the Kirkland. That's the winner in my book. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.